how to build a productized offer with Go High Level. And I'm gonna really show you guys even this productized offer where we try to scale it with a cleaning business. So I'm gonna show you guys my actual shots, but I wanna quickly talk about what a productized offer is. And the goal is to productize your service. Okay, what does that mean? The power of this and the leverage of it is one input into your offer, pretty much what you're offering to businesses as far as a solution to other people's problems can be pushed into multiple clients. So why I like Go High Level is we solve one issue, which is an input, and we uh, push that into our offer, which we can test it with one client, it works, it does well, then we automatically are able to bolt it to other clients. And I like this because it's a productized offer, but it's a more leveraged in a compound offer. It kind of reminds me of content. When you do one piece of content, content, one piece of content does not always just mean one view. Even if it's two views, seven views, 10 views, 100 views, 1,000 views, 10,000 views, a million views, right? I've gotten a million views for uh, several videos over the years. So the power of the one-to-one -one ratio is great, but the power to a one to several outputs, different outcomes, and several different ways is even greater. So what we're talking about is kind of like the new meta of what's going on in the agency space. One input goes to one offer, which is able to go into several clients. And I like that. Even if it's one input to your offer that helps three clients, that's so much more leverage and compounded than just a one-to-one. -one. Okay, so this is productizing your offer. So what does this look like as far as like the cleaning biz? Every business needs this, a lead generation, a lead nurture, a lead conversion, and then a software solution we can kind of build and uh, bolt on after we kind of figure this out, more automation and productizing even that. Okay, so every business needs this, lead gen, lead nurture, lead conversion. So what does that look like for us in the cleaning biz? Most cleaning businesses, they'll run Google Ads, which the lead nurture is our CRM solution. That's where a lot of these cleaning businesses, they don't really have a uh, pretty much step-by-step -step on how to organize all their leads on the back end. You'd be surprised how many do it do it by hand or just bootstrap it off Google Sheet or manual ways through other software stacks. Go high level, this software, we're able to do this at scale. And pretty much when we figure this out for one, one client, we can boost it and bolt it into all, all our other clients to help them. So everyone's, and there's no competition because cleaning businesses are in different states, different cities, which goes to lead conversion. And then uh, again, the software solution. So we came in with the lead nurture process. So we have a whole lead nurture, building trust, following up all these automation, helping leads with our CRM solution. So what does that look like practically? Cleaning business will do Google ads. And then when they have enough um, leads to come in or a, a bigger budget for uh marketing, they'll go ahead and we, we just run Facebook retargeting ads for them. That goes to a form page and that form page, either they're going to book that goes to a thank you, or it follows up with them through email SMS to initially get into a book call. And this is the goal. This is the system that we build different phases, different follow-up systems, sequences. Once a lead comes through uh, the pipeline, I'll show you real quick is custom values, opportunities, which is a lead and client tracker a client nurture funnel, incoming call script, script, an A2P verified funnel, follow-up automations, triggers, tags, booking forms, review survey. Again, you can do this for almost any business. This is mainly for uh, cleaning businesses, okay? And then we have like, what will we do for like the client fulfillment side, set up, all this, customizing. So this is kind of like our uh, simple onboarding once a client comes, it's like a simple checklist for us. All right, so we're here in the back end. And I just wanna show y'all what exactly we're gonna be talking about. But first, what is the lead or lead generation, right? So when we capture the lead, how do we get them to the lead nurture process? And that's through a booking form. So I'm gonna go right here on sites and I'm gonna go to forms right here to builder. And then it's this booking form. So what we do is we end up putting this booking form onto a cleaning business's website and then our system is gonna capture this. So it gets all their information, the method of uh, communication, what's your address, do you want uh, a service that you're looking for? Are you just moving out? Do you need a deep clean? Do you want recurring cleans? And then just all the information and then they submit that info, okay? Simple booking form just so the cleaning business can get a uh, an, an information from the, the client. Once they fill this out, it goes to what we call our opportunities tab, which it comes here and this is called our lead tracker. So we kind of built this out to where cleaning businesses 
would be able to know where they are in the pipeline. And it goes right here into pending quote. The moment it hits the pending quote right here, you're gonna click in and then it'll have all the information. Okay, so it'll have all their information of what they were looking for here. And the goal, if you kind of look at this, this looks like almost a Trello board. The difference is the automations that the software can use and the triggers in the back end. And I'll show you guys that in here in this next section. So they go through this. Once a quote comes, like, hey, they're pending a quote. They went through the website. They're asking for a quote. Somebody calls them from the cleaning business. And then what ends up happening is they move them. So let's say they get a hold of them. They send a quote. Then they're going to put them here, quote sent. So the goal is to follow up with them because let's say they get busy, life happens, and we just kind of follow up with them day one, quote sent, follow up one, quote sent, follow up two, all the way until what? Until you see right here booked. Okay, so we follow up until booked. And while they're going through this follow up sequence, there are emails that are uh, really nurturing them and that are they're working in the back end the moment they get in here. Okay, and then from here, once they get booked, those promotional marketing emails will just stop. And then they'll kind of go in here, get it booked, and then there will be a tag that says booked right here. Automatically, the automations obviously aren't working because this is our, our test account. They automatically, once we move them here, the system puts them into what? A client tracker. And then from that client tracker, they will put up here and then it's a pending follow-up. So once they're booked, they're finished. Now the goal is to obviously get feedback, maybe trigger the automation for a Google review after the service has been done. And then eventually most cleaning businesses, they wanna stack up their recurring cleans. So they'd be a new recurring clean right here. Okay, so that's the goal. And it's just really organizing this for the sales team, maybe a virtual assistant that somebody has hired and organizing this so they go through the, the lead tracker to eventually becoming a client. So what we do is we just kind of help with the uh, nurturing process and then also the follow-up process the email marketing on the back end, and even SMS and text. So this is the opportunities tab is what it's called on, on high level. And it's just to help again, organize leads and clients and bookings uh, eventually, and then doing all the marketing. Now I'm just gonna quickly show y'all the automation. We have a lot of automation set up, but once they kind of go through here, we build automations on the back end, and that's in the automations tab. So you guys can obviously see there's a lead tracker and then there's this review submission. So once a client is booked, we can have a trigger where it will ask for a Google review for the business. So we have that automation set up for our clients. And then we have this thing called the lead tracker. And there's so much here, right, that we've kind of built out uh, when they're going through that lead. So like, hey, once they submit a form, we want to add a tag. There's this other phone script, which is super cool. Like, let's say the business is taking a call. It'll populate them into this software. Uh, there's a quote sent flow and there's so many here. So let's just quickly talk about this um this first one so once they submit a a form because i showed you guys the form once they submit that form on the website for the cleaning business it will add a tag which is a pending quote tag and then it'll create create a, a, tr a card for them on the opportunities tab that's what we have here and then there's a lead gen form a follow-up which we kind of like start this process and then there's an internal notification where the business will get an internal email or notification forward to them so that they could see uh, that they have a new lead, which is super cool, right? So that's one example. Again, there's multiple ones that we have. Like for example, once a lead is is booked, once a lead is booked, like let's say they, they hit tag, it removes all the other tags so they don't get any emails. There's one where we can send client policies to make sure that they sign that policy before they start doing uh, any of their booking because they want to do a client policy just for protection for the business. And then it creates all these other things that we've added for workflow. So again, we've kind of built a lot of these. This is specifically for the cleaning business. You guys can obviously see that there's so much. And maybe if you guys want me to do an automation on like each single one, we could do that and I can kind of show you all. But I wanted to give you guys the power of productizing this. Now, the what we could do is when we're productizing this, and again, there's so much we could share. We also have like uh, different funnels where it's like a thank you page. And again, it kind of shows once they fill out a form, there's a thank you page that we did specifically again for uh, cleaning businesses. Thank you for your cleaning service. Our team members will be with you. Here's your contact info. So it's super cool just to be able to bolt this on. And the reason why I'm talking about, again, this process is because going back to this, one input in account into our offer. So let's say it was that reviews for the Googles. 
we do it for one client, but within a, a matter of seconds or less than a minute, we can bolt it in client number two, client number three. And now all our clients are eating the fruit of our new ways. Now we want to do chatbots, widgets. We want to be able to optimize emails and different ways of conversions for a lot of our clients. Once we get 20 clients in the cleaning biz industry or 50 or 100, we automatically can just bolt it into all their profiles within a matter of a few clicks. And this is the power of, again, productizing your offers, productizing your service. Again, if you guys want more information, maybe you guys want this full access to the snapshot. I have a community where I give all these snapshots that we're building out. And also, if you have questions, I'll drop my email below. This is great, again, for cleaning businesses, but this can go for any business. Once you have a snapshot, you know it actually works because we know this works because it's working for all the cleaning businesses we're helping. Then you guys can only imagine the type of leverage that you have uh, in the industries that you guys are in, okay? See y'all in the next video. Tap in. Let me know if you guys have questions. All the resources down below. God bless you. Bye-bye.